I think I chose Mizzou Med Peds. I mean, I went here for undergrad, then med school, and worked with kind of both internal pediatrics as part of my med school rotation. And I loved both, and I loved the residents who did both. So, really, only one choice. <laughs> I wanted to go to or do residency in a smaller city where uh, it was quieter and I had more time to just focus on work and myself and my own emotional well-being and so that's why I chose Mizzou Medpeds. I chose Mizzou because I felt like the overall um, from the beginning the communication was really good and everything was structured um, really well and everything seemed really organized. Everyone knew my name. They knew where I was going and like the receptionist knew everything. Like people are super nice here. And and from then on, I just could not leave Columbia. And I wanted to be in a program that that valued me, my opinion um, mattered. What surprised me most, I guess, after the initial uh, wave of like, oh no, I'm an actual doctor. People are expecting things of me. Uh, was like the level of support from like the upper levels and like the faculty on when I didn't know things or had have uh, had questions. Um, I had plenty of people I could ask. I uh, felt like I could you know, easily ask. Uh, for me, I'd say all of us getting along, being friends. It's nice when you're most of us are away from home, so it's nice just to have somebody to call, talk to, vent to. You never <laughs> called me. <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> It's unique being MedPeds because you're not only working with your own MedPeds program, you're closely working with the PEDS program and the medicine program. And I find across all aspects that everybody is, is very open to changes and hearing about feedback. The pathology that we see at the University of Missouri is pretty surprising. Um, everything gets sent in. <laughs> we don't transfer much out. Uh, so imagine all the small rural communities with the smaller hospitals, you are getting all of that pathology sent to you. So it's great for learning, it's great for teaching, um, and I think it's a great environment to truly thrive in. I also think it's awesome in the fact that residency, you work long hours as, enough as it is, but the commute is like nothing. You have yeah. either five or ten Seven. minutes max to get somewhere, and then that's it. You don't have to waste your life in traffic trying to get home. Oh, what don't I enjoy? I've been here now for ten years. <laughs> I mean, it is, it's got the big city feel, the college town kind of, with the small rural. I mean, you can drive like 15 minutes and be kind of in country. Um, there's amazing trails, great food, good beer. Uh, so kind of a combo of a lot of things. Columbia is cheap. <laughs> yeah, for <laughs> you sure. You can live very well on a resident salary. I bought a brand new house. Um, that's awesome to be able to afford that for myself. Um, also, there's lots of things to do outside. We have an awesome trail system, lots of things that we can do outside. Um, biking is huge in Columbia. It's very dog friendly, lots of restaurants and things that you can go to. Um, and if you want to go to a bigger city, you're not too far from Kansas City or St. Louis. So. I also like that it's quiet. There's some things to do that I didn't expect would be in a small city. Um, like Columbia, um, I like ragtag a lot. I like the hikes and trails and um, I like downtown a lot. Not a lot of people feel this way, but I like the small local stores and local businesses and I enjoy doing that on weekends, so. Residency is, is hard. <laughs> when you, when you um, squeeze six years into four years, it's challenging but you guys support each other. We support you. Um, you go from being an intern who's kind of terrified to a fourth year who wants us to go away so that you can just take care of the patients without any of our input. Yeah, I mean, I think that's what we always like try to support and what we always like take pride in is that we kind of take care of our, our own, take care of our own residents, whether it's like academically, socially. Even as a med student, uh, I knew the residents were great and they were just really smart. Um, I just didn't know how much of a family they were. I mean, this, this is the only program where we call our program director and associate program director mom and dad. And that's true. <laughs> so I'd say probably our similar personalities. Obviously, of course, we're all different from different places. But for the most part, we are really similar. And I think every med piece I've met, they're all pretty similar. We get along great, we can go out, have a good time. And like she said, close-knit family. Everybody seems to like what they do here. I know you'll see some programs and the term toxic goes around, especially when you're in medical school. 
Um, it's definitely not this one. This one is very family-esque. Um, you know, we hang out, we talk with not just the people in our own class, um, but with the people in the upper classes, the one behind the camera. Um, so, you know, it's really a great experience. We are looking for hard workers who really like people um, because we're almost hiring for attitude. We were quick to sort of change the way we do things and I think everyone was very flexible and um, adaptable to that change and um, sort of fit into our new roles and the new things that we had to do and get used to and I liked seeing that and seeing that everyone was sort of working together. Yeah, I think uh, for me, it's just really taught me the importance of being very versatile. Um, that just because we're practicing one way one day, that doesn't mean that's going to be the case the next day. The university was well prepared. We never had a shortage of PPE. Um, everyone was assigned um, you know, multiple masks. They've gone through multiple different testings for um, the N95s and I never found myself wondering what the next, next steps were because they kept us pretty informed um, with daily updates. I would like to go into primary care after I'm done. I want to do a MedPeds fellowship, um, either ID or I'm thinking about hemonc. I'm applying for neonatology now. MedPeds rheumatology. Possibly uh, pursuing an adult congenital heart uh, disease fellowship. So uh, I'm actually pursuing a fellowship in gastroenterology, adult gastroenterology. I plan to be a MedPeds hospitalist. Possibly become a MedPeds hospitalist and or pursue a fellowship in the future, but I don't know yet, 100%. After residency, I will be entering a career somewhere as a MedPeds hospitalist. Yeah, it's definitely, it's just a good, uh, well-rounded program. It'll surprise you. 